here is how we as an American society continue to shoot ourselves in the fucking foot. We can never admit a system's fucking broken. So we try these weird ass motherfucking ways to attempt to fix it. And I'm not really sure where we get the financial figures from. <laughs> but apparently the post office, which has been literally on the cringe of bankruptcy in the past year and a half, maybe two, Halfly, halfly because of the fact that the postal office, thanks to their postal unions, get the most ridiculous, over-the-top fucking benefits for working that job, and yet don't deliver my uh, my mail, rain, sleet, snow, or, or shine. So, uh, yeah, not sure where that slogan actually came from, but now in California, at least, and I think it's going to be the model for all of America, they want to have a, a system in place that in local towns, a group of houses, similar to a, how a uh, apartment complex has uh, a little nook at the bottom when you walk in and everybody's mail is in their apartment this, apartment that, apartment this, apartment that, whatever the fuck. They want to do that on a grander scale in town. So the delivery uh, post office worker needs to uh, just drive there, put all the mail in, and then uh, drive away, I guess. So you have a centralized place to pick, pick it up. Now, this isn't going to work. And let me explain to you why it's not going to work. Besides the fact that you're changing a system that people have grown accustomed to and that never goes well, the uh, health care bill has been uh, repealed for 38 times, and I'm not saying it's good and I'm not saying it's bad, I I'm just saying people fucking hate change. But <laughs> let's think of who uses the mail for, for just one second. Old people. Old people use the mail. Old people still contact each other with the mail. Do you really want to have some fucking area that you force all the old people to drive to and pick up their goddamn mail? I don't get anything in the mail anymore, except for maybe a Game Informer magazine. And, and at that point, it's like I don't even want to drive to a centralized area to pick up that one fucking thing. But I know most old people that I know don't even fucking drive, so how the fuck are they going to get there to pick up their goddamn mail? This is, this is just, again, uh, on the, on the lines of just having a problem and not fucking admitting it. As an example, G4, which was a television channel for video gamers, they decided video gamers don't want to watch video games all the time, so they put on shows that had absolutely nothing to do with video gaming. And then they said, well, I guess gamers don't watch television, so let's get rid of the channel completely. Because, yeah, yeah, you can't admit when you're fucking wrong. But it's the union, which is the difference, and the union can admit when they're fucking wrong. They just don't give a shit. The union can admit that they have a fucked up system. They just don't fucking care. And I love the expression, one of my favorite expressions of all fucking time, going postal. Because it is one of the biggest misnomers in all of fucking society. Except for the occasional dog what I think has been overplayed in cartoons for years. Post work, postal workers don't really have that much danger in their jobs. And yet their union manages to secure them about the same amount of fucking bennies that dock workers and fucking cargo workers and construction workers, they're all right the fuck up there. 
So I don't care, give a shit if they get the occasional bomb in their fucking mail. I think that bomb is built and constructed well enough that it's not going to blow up till you li deliver it at its destination. Same with anthrax. I'm pretty sure that uh, when they package it up... Yeah. I could be wrong on that one because, you know... I live in the real world where people aren't actually sending anthrax anywhere, but my point being that instead of the post office and the postal worker saying, hey, I know, <laughs> in the long run of keeping my damn job, let's take a few pay cuts, maybe cut a, vaca a paid vacation week, maybe cut some costs, and prove that we can make better because you see all these 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 fucking perks that all these people got this this pay this amount of pay that is required for them this retirement that is that now required is required for them these paid vacation days which is required for them and all of this shit okay this was enacted back in a time when the mail delivery system actually meant something. Now, if you want to go to a concert, you can buy your ticket online, print them out, and wada bing, bada boom. Same with fucking airlines. That's right, the other fucked up system in America is embracing not mailing shit. You can do everything. Everything. Online, from the comfort of your own fucking home. That is to say, that if you want to order shit from Amazon, you're going to need to get it delivered to your fucking house. But my point is that the, you know, U.S. Postal Service is not as relevant as it used to be. It's not as necessary for society as it used to be. And I think they should acknowledge that in some minuscule way, as opposed to saying, oh, we're, we're not the problem, our system's not the problem, the money we're taking is not the problem. No, it's, uh, it's, you know, let's cut some costs. And they're saying that this is going to save them uh, $53 million a year. Um, it could be right. It sounds like a crazy high number for just building a bunch of fucking, essentially, community mailboxes. Besides that, it would give uh, people one whole new thing to have to concern themselves with that people just don't really give a shit about and don't really want to. I mean, Jesus fuck.